Okay, so you said you're a friend of Donald Trump. And do you agree with his uh, economical policies? Because now we've been... Be I don't want to talk about Donald Trump. You can go talk about whatever you want to talk about. I want to talk about what I know about. Well, it, I don't, it, it, it's supposed to be an interview. And I'm trying to yeah, give but a little you can context talk about to my what viewers. You talk about. I don't want to talk about Donald Trump. Okay. What would you like to talk about? Let, I just told you, money and debt. Money and debt, money, okay. Money, debt, and taxes, because that's what money is. Okay. And the person has been told to go to school, get a job, and work hard. You're going to pay taxes. Why? Because you work for money. So the question, well, how does a person not work for money and pay no taxes? So I was trying to give a little context to my viewers. Romanians don't understand so much about capitalism. And from what I'm reading and what I'm learning, most of Americans also, they shift from understanding capitalism as freedom to thinking of it as in a bad way. What should the people understand about this way of living? Because we cannot all be entrepreneurs. Some people need to get some jobs. Or should we all try and look at how we can change our lives in, in the way you show it in your books and your keynotes? It's up to the person. It's up to the person, it's a free, free choice. You want to be an employee, you choose to be an employee. You want to be an entrepreneur, you choose to be an entrepreneur, but you've got to study. They're two, two different people. What you have to study is different. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, they're different people. An entrepreneur is extremely different than an employee, but it's a different study. The trouble is our school system trains us to be employees. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, pay your taxes, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. That makes you poor. You've had the chance to be taught early. You've been challenged early. Most people don't get that chance. Where should people start? Question the saying I just gave you, go to school. What do you learn about money? The fact that you just told me that um, you need to go to get a job to have money. But I didn't say that. You said that. I said that. This is what we've been told. Yes. Yeah, so who, go to school, get a job. Question that. Okay. So if I'm starting to question that, if a young person is looking at us and they say, okay, I'm ready to challenge that. What do I tell to my father? Okay, I'm not going to school anymore. I didn't say that. You said that. I said that. Of course. I, would, I just said, question it. What's wrong with getting a job? I went through a job to understand how the system works, but I'm not sure if it, it works to anyone. What's your opinion on that? I thought you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Of course, but not everyone has, has done so. So I, I was trying to... And what is lesson number one in Rich Dad, Poor Dad? <sighs> Rich people don't work for money. And so when your school system says you get a job, what are you doing? You become a slave. You work for money. Exactly. And what's wrong with working for money? That it makes you come back to work and be, you become a slave. You pay taxes. And you pay taxes, of course. And then they tell you to save money. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Everybody's printing money now. <laughs> Why would you save money when they're printing money? I know you don't save money. You're building businesses. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Because you didn't, I don't know. Because, Because that's you, what you've been told to do. Of course. So question that. You see, if you cannot think, I cannot help you. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? That's what happened in 1971 when President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. They can print as much as they like. Then they tell you, so that you go to school, you get a job, you become an employee. You pay taxes because you're working for money. Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? I don't know. <laughs> because the system of banking Your, it's nothing to do with communism or capitalism. It's the banks run the world. 
the rich run the world. They don't care if you're communist or capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar US or one euro, one yen, the banking system can lend out 10. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. And then they used to pay you 10% interest on your money. Now it's at best 1%. And they're still lending it out 10 times. So that's why you don't save money is because your money is becoming worth less and less and less and less and less. The banks are getting richer and richer and richer. Then they tax you on that interest you they pay you, that 1% interest if they pay you that much. Japan is zero. And the Japanese are so stupid, they still save money. We also stupid? have zero. Yeah, and they still save money. How stupid is that? So that's what I would question. So how come that happens? Now, if I borrow money, guess what? Do I pay taxes on debt? I guess no. Why is that? I know so you... This is, this is what I'm saying, okay? Question everything. Okay. So when they lend out money, that's how money is created. Money is debt. How do you store value then? Because we all work uh, and we have, uh, let's say, a, a lifespan of when we are productive and then comes retirement and you retired early. Because How? I don't follow the go to school, get a job, work hard, save. See, that's hypnosis. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. So how, so when they lend out, them, why is debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people who borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt, I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars in 2000. By 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down so that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then uh, they pay taxes after taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? because they tell you not to do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. Then you put it in the stock market, you know, in pensions, right? 